Hey guys, I'm back from PAX, and contrary to popular belief, I did not take a day off to play with toys and free games. That's right, Internet Anthony, I watched last night's live stream, and you were just wrong. We thought he was dead. <laughs> yeah, Internet Wheels called everybody and like my family members to make sure I was still alive. Except he didn't call you. Except he didn't call me out of all the people. Call you, your phone was off! <laughs> Drop it! To the news. Office 365. Get work done anytime, anywhere, and on any device. In addition to one terabyte of OneDrive storage, also receive 60 Skype World minutes per month to over 60 countries. Man, so many new devices announced and IFA 2014 has barely started. So you know what time it is. Bam, 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 lightning round. All right, first up, Samsung devices. For Samsung, we've got the Galaxy Note 4, as this was no surprise to anybody. It's got a 5.7 inch quad HD Super AMOLED display. It also includes an S Pen that now has 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity. Up next is the Galaxy Note Edge, probably the most intriguing device so far to me. It's got a curved display on the right hand edge. This allows for custom controls and notifications. The Galaxy VR headset. This is an add-on for the Note 4 that you can slot the phone into and wear it on your head. Also comes with a controller. And the Galaxy Gear S, another smartwatch with a curved display, but it has its own 3G connection, so you don't need to be tethered. And now for Sony devices. The Xperia Z3 and Z3 Compact are announced. Dang it, just feels like I got my Z2. Anyways, the Z3 is now 1 millimeter thinner and 11 grams lighter, which is amazeballs if you really stop to think about it. The Z3 Compact is actually the successor to the Z1 Compact. Comes in with a 4.6 inch 720p screen and a 26 milliamp hour battery. That's just a small taste of the devices shown off. Check out the links below for more coverage. Google Chrome Canary is now available for Windows 7. This brings the whole Chrome OS experience to Windows 7. There will also be an app launcher included and you'll get Google Now notifications. So if you've been wondering what it's like to have a Chromebook but don't feel like buying a Chromebook, this is your chance to try it. But Google does warn that Canary is designed for devs and early adopters and can sometimes break down completely. And a final smaller story, U2 fan funding is now launched in Australia, Japan, Mexico and the US. So now you can tip your favorite content creators if you feel like it. Hopefully it comes to Canada sometime, you know, wink wink, nudge nudge. But seriously, would you guys tip slash support your favorite content creators? Let us know down below. Hashtag Joy Puke. Buy a qualifying GeForce GTX graphics card and get Borderlands the pre-sequel free. Check the links in the description below. Trust me, the pre-sequel, worth it. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Oh, man. What? It's not a toy. It's a collectible. It's a doll. I'm gonna...